Hey guys, welcome back to Misha's Corner. Um, today I'll be making my ultimate breakfast burrito. And yeah, I'm a little under the weather and my voice will be a little off. But I'm going to speak up as much as I can. So yeah, let's get started. So this is the potato that I just sauteed up with some salt, pepper, garlic, smoked paprika, and some oil. I got it real, really nice and crispy and cooked through. And yeah, so now we're going to move on to the next step. Okay, so now I'm going to start stirring off my sausage. You can use whatever sausage you want to use, whatever brand you want to use. You could definitely be make this vegetarian. The only difference is I would add more vegetables, maybe some mushrooms, um, some zucchini, something like that. Um, as a matter of fact, I think I am going to do a vegetarian one in a week or so. But this same routine works. You don't have to use meat. You can use whatever meat you want to use. Over here I have my meat. It's nice and cooked. I have it on really, really low heat. Um, and yeah, so we're going to turn this off and let it cool down. Right here I have a um, large onion that I sliced into half moons. And I'm going to cook this all the way down. It looks like a lot of onion, but once it's cooked all the way down and caramelized, it will be cut in half. So. Yeah, this is the whole onion, butter, salt, pepper. Remember how we started off with the onions? It was so much. Now look how caramelized it is. And by the way, this process is going to take you about 30 to 40 minutes to do. And this is about 25 minutes in. I'm going to keep cooking it down for another 10 minutes. And this is going to bring sweetness to the burrito. These right here are some organic um, heirloom tomatoes, cherry tomatoes that I'm using and in my food processor so far I have a cup, well a half a cup of cilantro. I'm going to post this first because I don't want to post the tomato forever so that's why I'm doing this first. Alright now I got it to the consistency that I want. I'm going to add the tomatoes in and I'm going to post it maybe three or four times. You're also going to add salt and pepper to this. Go down in here with my pepper. And add a little salt. It's gonna be that's one, two. Okay. Oh, that's pretty much it. <laughs> so about four or five pulses, that's all you're gonna do because you don't wanna make a paste. I don't want a paste or a liquid. I just wanted to break it down a little bit. You could also do this with a knife, but I was lazy, so I didn't do that. And yeah. So now we're going to make these burritos. <laughs> Alright guys, so I have all my components ready. I'm using a triple cheese blend that I bought from the store, cheese. I have my tomato there, my caramelized onions, my sausage, my scrambled eggs, and my sriracha mayo, and my potatoes. So now we're just going to pile it all up on here. Okay, so I'm going to start with my sriracha and my cheese. I want cheese on both sides of my burrito. So, you want to put it close to the edge. I think I'm going to go with the meat. You could pile as much or as little of any of these ingredients as you prefer. You don't have to use this method. You don't have to use these ingredients. You can switch things up. That's the great part about a burrito. And then I'm going to go in here with some potatoes. <laughs> this is going to be a big burrito. <laughs> oh man. Well, we're going to let it work. You know what I mean? We're going to make this work. Then I'm going to go with some eggs. Don't worry, it's all going to get wrapped up. Then I'm going to go with some um, of my tomato chutney that we made earlier in the um, food processor. A little dab of that all over. Not too much of that because it is wet. You don't want too much moisture in your burrito. And those luscious caramelized onions we made. Yum. Oh. Mm. Is this getting big enough for y'all or I know? <laughs> then I'm gonna go in here with some more sriracha mayo. If you don't have this brand, you could just mix some sriracha hot sauce and some mayo. That's all that that is in this bottle. And some more cheese. As if we didn't have enough. Now, let's see if I could roll this up. Don't judge me, y'all. And that's it. <laughs> it really rolled. 
but anyway I'm gonna do the other ones and then we're gonna move on from this so I have my burrito seam side down the side that we closed it with in my cast iron skillet I'm gonna sear it off so it could close and then I'm gonna pop it into the oven just one side we're searing now I'm gonna pop it in the oven so the cheese can melt and everything could come together and yeah for about five or ten minutes or so so this is what the burrito looks like it looks amazing I don't know how great the camera is picking it up but y'all <laughs> Oh my god, it looks so good. It smells so good. You can see the caramelized onions. You can see those tomatoes. You can see everything, the potatoes, the meat, the cheese, the eggs. It's crispy. Because <laughs> we popped it in the oven for a few minutes. Yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Like, share, subscribe. I'm about to enjoy this burrito. And I'll see y'all next time on my next video. Okay guys, bye.